What is going on my friends and welcome back to another video on the channel. Well in today's video we are going over Solana as its price has now failed the attempt at recovery and as we are continuing back to the downside with the rest of the crypto market falling it does seem as if this correction may be in route to continue down to one of the utmost key crucial and most important levels that we have seen in quite a long time. So with that being said of course let's go ahead and let's talk about what we can expect how I'm feeling about this thing and what exactly exactly I'm going to be doing. So what we know about Solana right now is that as we have been seeing this big, big, big correction to the downside, we've been tracking the uh, macro Fibonacci's. Now what that looks like is from our swing low to our swing high, uh, there we go. We have a few key important Fibonacci retracement levels. We of course have the 236, the 382 to 0.5 level, and the 618 to 786 level. These are the three levels where you can expect to see some of the most support on its way down and the levels in which definitely have the potential for us to bounce off of and continue back to the upside. But what we know is that at the loss of these levels, it does become much more likely that we will resort back to our range low, which in this instance does look like 170 dollars well considering the fact that we did see a bounce off the 786 level back up to the 618 level and a failed attempt to recapture it and now that we have seen a daily close back below the 786 level that does mean now that the door to 117 dollars is back open again and you guys know that we do not want to see the loss of 117 dollars we do not want to see the loss of a macro low as that is you know relatively bearish i mean that's pretty damn bearish right there and of course setting a lower low on a macro scale isn't never a good thing okay i mean it never is right that does open the doors for us to see some type of possible you know a b c correct which looks like an even further extension to the downside and so with that being said of course we want to see the price maintaining above 117 and so in today's video we're going to take a look at what we need to do and what we need to see from Solana's price in order for us to be able to break away from that possibility of an even further correction and how I'm going to go about it so looking at Solana of course we have three let's go ahead and call it four key levels okay now, what these four key levels are going to be are going to be support level number one and number two, of course, 117, and then this bottom in which we put in, which we'll go over, and then resistance level one and resistance level number two. Now, the way in which I'm going about this is I am going to simply not do a thing. I am going to allow this to play out, and I'm going to just watch and sit back and see exactly what happens, because at this given point, it does seem and it does feel as if we are more likely to correct to the downside. But of course, with the rest of the market, you never know when that bottom bottom may get put in in which we put in some type of w bottom and the next thing you know we're out of this thing and so since i'm not counting out the crypto market and since i'm not counting out bitcoin or any of those just yet i'm not willing to taper down on my positions or sell at this moment but i am starting to get a little bit more wary of the fact that things are getting uglier for solana for sure and much harder to recover so looking at solana right now there's the, the two key levels in which i'm paying attention to are again 136 dollars to start and 160 17 dollars to end now now that we are you know seeing some pretty strong support establishment at this 136 dollar level earlier last week i am under the belief that there is the potential for us to find that same support and put in something with what could look like a w bottom before continuing back up breaking topside resistance or doing something like this and then seeing this break up to the upside. So right now, as long as we're above $136, we are still within the bullish realm of seeing some type of bounce of that nature. Now, it will be much harder for that to happen, especially considering on the stock RSI, we have seen this bearish cross back to the downside. And, you know, whenever you, you, you can tell that whenever we see these bearish crosses, they do tend to lead to falls, right? Right here. And right here, we saw the bounce off of it. We never went through it. But once we went through it, we saw this pull to the downside. So this is much harder to do. We just saw the cross, which means that there could be a lot more room to the downside to fall, which could look like this push towards the low $120 area. So this is going to be much harder to accomplish. But until it, you know, ha until we fall through it, I'm not counting this thing out. Okay. So right now, I definitely would be setting alerts. And I'm going to go ahead and do it myself, actually, right here around 137 to 130 36 dollars and as long as we are above that we're looking okay but the moment we fall below that it does seem ex you know much 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 more likely that we are going to see this push towards 117 dollars 
Now, in the event in which we do see this breakout, right? Say we hold right here and we start to push back to the top side here. I personally, you know, the break of this trend line here would be great, but I'm still personally at this point looking for the breakout of resistance level number two. As you can see, we have these two key levels of resistance in which we've been interacting with. We have the, you know, kind of the more mid range here resistance in which we interacted with early on in our channel we found some resistance here we found some support here and we ran, found some resistance here and then we have our breakout resistance as well and considering the fact that we've broken out of this key level of resistance two times but ran into our breakout resistance i'm not going to get too excited at the breakout of resistance level number one until we're able to break out of our breakout resistance which is breakout uh, resistance level number two this one right up here so although it would be fantastic that we do get this double bottom put in i do um you know i i do feel as if there is still the possibility of something like this happening because we have lost the 786 level in which we will resort back to 117 and so considering that fact i am personally just going to go ahead and wait until we see a double breakout of resistance level number one and two before getting too excited there okay now what's fantastic is that if we are able to hold 135 and put in something of what could look like a w bottom that does give us a breakout target from that point which lies right at you know this breakout which could be somewhere around here depending on where it is and so considering the fact that we do have a breakout target from that point that puts us right back up to this area it definitely could be the start of the breakout in which we would need it just has to hold this 136 dollar level so at this exact moment again i'm not really doing anything too much we are seeing kind of this bearish cross on the mac on the stochastic rsi sorry looking at something like the rsi what we did pay attention to was the fact that as we did put in this macro high or, or more of a midterm high let's not call it a macro high we put in a midterm high here we actually saw a lacking of bearish divergence which was the first time we've seen that in the entire move to the downside what that means is that as we did push to the upside it actually was supported by bullish momentum and it wasn't being rejected by some type of bearish divergence on the RSI and as that happens that could be the very first sign that we are nearing a bottom here and that we could be looking to establish support relatively soon and considering the fact that we are now approaching the $117 level that could be a fantastic sign that even if we do break down through 137 that we may be able to hold that bottom in which we're looking for and we may be able to continue to the upside but of course that is pure speculation and hopium at its finest okay and so overall what we need to be paying attention to at this exact moment is $135 on the daily charts. If we get the closes here, be looking for us to resort back up and break resistance level number one. Until we break resistance level number one, we're not even remotely back in bullish territory in my opinion, and we have invalidated a lot of the growth and a lot of the progress in which we made over the last week now if we lose 135 again i am expecting this pushed back down towards 117 dollars and at that point we are looking at the risk of setting a new macro low which of course does have its long-term bearish implications and it's something we don't want to see happen so overall that is going to be about it for today's video definitely not the most bullish video i've ever made but my goal here is to not spread hopium it's not here to spread you know false hope again my whole goal here is to bring you guys my honest analysis of what's happening right now and i couldn't make anything up and just pretend that we are looking okay because unless we're you know if we fall below 135 we're definitely getting into a very crucial and very very shaky time for the solana price so with that being said that is going to be about it realistically for today's video do keep an eye on Solana. Make sure you're also keeping an eye on your Bitcoin charts. Go check out the Bitcoin analysis I did on yesterday's live stream because do remember that Bitcoin's price is going to have a major, major, major impact on what the price of Solana does. They work in tandem with each other. And if this one breaks out, Solana will too. If this one tanks, Solana will too. Now, of course, many of you do ask me where I do a lot of my trading of Solana at, and it is solely on FTX at this point. As you can see, the process of purchasing Solana is ridiculous easy all you're going to go ahead and do is you're going to enter in the amount that you want you're going to click it you're going to slide it to confirm it and then as you do that you will be able to win some free crypto on every purchase above ten dollars and then from there you can then use their tracking service which is absolutely phenomenal you're going to enter in the transaction on what you just did and it will keep track of it to tell you 
how it's gaining, how it's losing, and it will keep all of that important information in there in a very easy to understand way. You guys know FTX did sponsor this channel about two or three weeks ago, and it was a huge milestone for me. And so you guys know that I will always let you know that that is probably the easiest and the best exchange that there is out right now in terms of rewards, in terms of perks they offer in, you know, an exceptional amount, especially in comparison to other ones. And considering the fact that they have over 6 million users and loads of volume, I definitely think they're worth using. So just go down to the link in the description, go check it out. Use my promo code Tyler Hill if you do want to start being able to get some of these rewards. But of course, more info on that down in the description below. But with that being said, that is going to be about it for today's video. Of course, if you guys did enjoy, you can always let me know simply by smashing that like button and subscribing to the channel if you are new. And I will see you next time. Peace.